Hey, hey, everyone. I'm Tiara Sade. Come on in for this message, okay? Look, okay, she got bars. She got bars a little bit. All right, let's just, let's go with it. All right, that was cute. That was real cute. All right, so listen, as I was meditating over the energy for tonight, right? It's an 11-11 portal, January 11th, 2022. Um, I kept getting prosperity, prosperity, um, generational wealth, new opportunities come coming in, um, business endeavors, um, business partnerships, just so much good things are coming in for y'all. And I want you to tap into this energy. You might as well claim it from now, okay? If you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you didn't already give this video a thumbs up, baby, give the video a thumbs up. What you doing? Okay, you already know you're gonna like this, all right? Um, as you can see, I'm in a very playful mood, so that should let you know what type of message this is about to be. So look, all right, if you need to pause this and go ahead and get you a little glass of water with lemon, look, go ahead and do it. You need to get you a little snack. Look, go ahead and do it, all right? So let's see what's up. Let's see what's coming through for you. Um, Many of y'all may have noticed, but I love numbers. I love 1111. I love the number seven and four. Like I am a number person, 444. Um, so January 11th, 2022. Oh, you gotta know I was dropping a message. You, you know I was dropping a message. And also, um, shout outs to the Life Path 11s and the Life Paths 22s. This is the year of the master numbers, okay? And the next year we have 2023. That's also going to be a very, very, very powerful year, okay? I could probably, um, I should probably post a video on 2023 predictions because, listen, all right, look, I'm not even going to say nothing else. I'm not going to say nothing else. It's going to pop off, all right? Many of y'all are stepping into your destiny this year. And the following year is just going to be so freaking magical for you. And uh, yeah, it is. It is. It's going to be magical for you. All right. So what's coming in with this 1111 portal? Definitely um, clarity for many of you. You're going to get clear on a couple things moving forward. This portal is bringing in decisiveness, swift and calculated decisions, calculated risks on how you can better your home, your body, um, your time, the things that you're creating in your life, um, the, the people that you want, the person that you want, the type of love interest that you want. Okay, all of that is coming in right now. Many of you, you're going to receive news of pregnancy. Yes, you are. Okay. So if that's what you're manifesting, if you're manifesting like fertility in your life or um, you're wanting fertility, you're going to manifest that. If you're wanting love in a relationship, you're going to manifest that this year too. So all of that is coming in. Many of you, you have a love interest on the way to you right now. Okay. I don't know what it is that you're doing. You could have already met somebody or whatever it is but if you have not already met someone um you have a romantic partner that is aligning with your vibration and your frequency in this hour so tap into that if that's what you're wanting to manifest into your life um this year tap into that because you know you, you have that coming in i feel like many of you you may receive a message that could disappoint you but it's actually going to end up being for your highest good so i don't know maybe this is a job offer that um you wanted and you're you're going to receive an email from them and you're like yay i received an email from them but you may not actually get the job and for whoever resonates with that particular message it's because you have something else on the way right behind that that's actually much better and for others of you it's because um, you're needing to launch your business and your spiritual practice or whatever that is. I was literally having a conversation with the sis about that. Like literally applying to everybody's job and nobody reaching out to you at all. And it's really because the divine is um, aligning you with your purpose, with your calling. You're meant to actually launch that. Some of you, you're grieving over a lover 
or someone that you wanted to be a lover, someone that you wanted to be a romantic interest, um, you're grieving over that and um, the divine wants you to stop, okay? <laughs> the divine wants you to stop because you have love. You have love on the way to you. You have a soulmate and twin flame on the way to you. I feel like some of you are grieving because you walked away from... Um, you walked away from a great catch or you realized something a little too late in your journey and just, you know, realize that it had to happen like that. Like, see, like we have the Ten of Swords. It had to happen like that because um, I'm getting like for somebody's soul lesson, for somebody's soul development, you needed to have that experience to kind of teach you about yourself and about um, certain behaviors that you may have engaged in as well as, you know, what you're needing to do to move forward on your path, okay? Because I feel like somebody, someone may have broken up with a partner and then you realize that he was exactly what you wanted. There's the energy of that coming in. There's also an energy of people um, coming towards you because they see how valuable you are. They see how prosperous you are and how stable you are. I also feel like many of you, you're going to be working on your stability moving forward. So you might as well, you know, wish on a star right now as far as for your stability or the type of life that you want. That's that's also it. Somebody's trying to figure out um, or kind of getting clear on what type of life that you want what you want to wear, where you want to live, how many bedrooms you have. Is there a den or a family room? Do you have a home theater? Somebody is really daydreaming about that. And if not, you're encouraged to daydream about that right now because you're about to manifest it, okay? Somebody could actually be um, purchasing a home for you or with you. Somebody could absolutely be ready to fly you out um, as a romantic commitment. Some, some of y'all, this could be like just you know a meet up with friends or going on vacation but for others this is like uh, you embarking on a new chapter of your life okay this is really what's coming in also some of you are needing to get clear on finances and how you want to split the finances and look we have the two of cups this is absolutely love for someone like i was saying before someone is kind of holding on to you they they could be in your energy field and it's really because they love you and, you know, they, they want to see you, they want to talk to you, they want to share with you and celebrate life with you, but they're at a distance or um, there's a distance between the connection. But like I was saying, many of you, you do have new love coming in. You have a soulmate and romantic union coming in. I'm hearing somebody is going to have twins as well. That came up like a few videos back. Somebody's going to have twins or triplets going into... 2022 and you see all those twos that's two 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 so definitely twins definitely tri triplets um definitely you know the year of relationships and soul tribes partnerships unions um things that are uh connections rather that are meant to elevate you on your path that are meant to take you higher and higher and higher okay so that's coming in for you you're gonna somebody somebody is gonna text you email you or dm you um soon okay i don't know when you're gonna be watching this message but somebody is definitely on the way to you right now y'all like i'm telling you right now and this that this video has nothing to do with me y'all i do want to say that like the videos that i'm uploading I tap into the collective energy and I like to mind my business and I also I also don't want my business included in here. So when I'm sharing this with you, don't be like, ooh, do you got somebody on the way? Look, okay, this message is for you. Don't worry about me, okay? <laughs> Look for one. Somebody is on the way to you. <laughs> That's so funny. Sorry, all my nose is a little itchy. That's so funny to me. Somebody really is on the way to you or they want to see you. They want to see you. They want to reconcile. They want to reconnect with you. Six of Wands. They want to reconnect with you. That's confirmation. Um, They see you doing good. You out there looking handsome. You probably got the fresh cut. You probably smell good. Ooh. Listen, some of y'all are literally like 
on the on your way to a date or going on um out to pick somebody up or um you may be going to work maybe you work at night and you want to look a little bit you know cute for your work bay i don't know what it is that you got going on but somebody is definitely on the way to you and like i said somebody could be purchasing a home for you somebody's purchasing a home for you all right or or they're going to help you with your rent or um help you renew your lease or something like that and also you have a guardian angel on your side too that's protecting you from any type of um, misfortune at this time i feel like some of you are cutting out um relationships and friendships that don't serve you that may have um been hindering you on your path i'm definitely getting that like you're cutting certain things out and some of y'all are needing to cut people out um because What I was just seeing just then was like literally like a star or like a light bulb, but you have just so many people in your life with the fuckery or with low vibration that they're like dimming what you have going on. Like they're, you can't even shine as bright as you could because you're surrounded by people who aren't elevating you in any way. Okay. Yep. All right. Listen. They're not elevating you in any type of way, all right? You could actually have somebody show up in your life and let you know that. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be showing up in your life um, to, to let you know that, to let you see, um, allow you to see a different way of looking at things, a different way of looking at relationships, friendships, partnerships, romantic unions, twin flames. Um, somebody's actually coming into your life to show you like, hey, like, do your inner work do your inner healing um because once you do that you're elevating and you'll be able to separate from the past you'll be able to separate from the things that no longer serve you as, and as well as the people too because i feel like some of you like i said you have you have somebody in your life that is really like not the best for you they're bringing you down they're dumbing you down too Ooh, ten of pentacles let's go See, this, this is what you're needing um, to do. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. This is what you're needing to do. Um, cut out certain behaviors and certain traits, right? Realign with your purpose. You have a calling over your life, okay? I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what you've been through, baby. Like, redirect your thoughts and your mind. Um, and redirect your path as well because like yeah redirect your path you see this is a path okay ten of pentacles there's a path you're being led you're being guided in the right direction your angels and your guides are stepping in to make sure that you fulfill a purpose to make sure that you um that you renew the legacy i heard renew family traditions wow i literally um, I'm about to post some videos talking about the family traditions and the legacy and also on Instagram I made a post about you know it's not about being liked it's about being obedient this is an encouragement to someone to be obedient with the call that's over your life because it's divinely guided by the ancestors and you have a lot of coin coming to you somebody got a lot of coin coming to you and it's your birthright it's your birthright it's what you've been given it's because you've made sacrifices. It's because you decided to let things go. You avoided temptation and you redirected your path. And if that does not sound like you in this now moment, know that you, you can do it now. You can redirect your path right now. You can cut out toxicity right now. You can move forward with solid collaborations now. All right? Some of y'all are going to be coming into partnerships that are literally written in the stars. It's your destiny. Ooh. I just felt that it's your destiny to come into partnership with someone or to be led by someone, to be guided by someone. I did a video the other day, um, you know, somebody is looking for you and it, the angel part, right? The angels, there, you have an angel that's coming into your life that's going to direct you and guide you and lead you towards this legacy, lead you towards this emotional fulfillment and, um, in prosperity for many of y'all many of y'all you have 
generational wealth coming into your life. Um, and that's not to say to wait for somebody to come into your life before you start, you know, taking the steps to attain this. But some of you, you, you literally do have that. Others of you, you're going to, you've already gained like a certain level of success or, um, financial independence. And you're going to actually marry someone, marry someone who's able to, um, partner with you in building generational wealth. Okay. So let's pull more of these Oracle cards and then we'll, um. Queen of Wands, and you're gonna be fine while you get in this coin, okay? You're gonna look really, really, really sexy while you walk in your soul's purpose. Let me tell you, you a hot item out here. You a hot item, baby. And I don't want that to uh, get to your head. Ooh, look at this. Such good energy, y'all. You have such good energy with the Nine of Pentacles. Um, yeah, I, I don't want I don't want to like <laughs> inflate your ego or nothing. But while you're out here walking on your purpose, while you're out here um, navigating these spiritual streets, you looking real delectable, real juicy and delicious. OK, and um, and not even romantically or sexually, but also definitely including that, but just like spiritually and um just your wisdom and the way you say things, the way you carry yourself, the things that you say um, is definitely drawing in people. It's drawing in people, right? It's just, customers, clients, um, just people in your energy field are just going to be drawn to you in your light. Um, definitely for many of you, you're launching that spiritual business right now. I literally just posted that. I literally just sent an email to my community today talking about... Um, spiritual businesses and um a feminine spiritual business right rooted in spirituality sensual spirituality and the goddess i feel like many of you can definitely be launching something like that right now and you're working on your your inner world your personal stability so that you can have this legacy right because i literally just noticed we have um the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles well, goddamn, look, this is literally energy that speaks of you walking on your path, you developing yourself, you surrounding yourself with beauty and peace and healing and the things that you love, you cultivating um, wealth for yourself, right? Stability for yourself. And you're focused on your legacy and the next generation. So it's literally like you're building for yourself so that you can have something. You're pouring that love into self. But you're also keeping your eyes on the prize as far as the next generations. And it doesn't have to just do with your family. This is also like collective energy that's going on right now. I feel like there's a lot of people on the planet right now that are thinking about the next generations. And... um just the things that you're leaving behind or what you're planning to leave behind. And if, um, and look, wow, we just saw safe and sound. And, um, and if you're not already doing this, you all, there's the advice to do that, to tap into that legacy. But yeah, like I said, somebody is gonna like, there's so many of y'all and y'all email me, y'all let me know. Like this, a lot of, hang on. A lot of the videos that I have been posting, y'all come with the receipts. Like every single video I've ever done, somebody has been going through that situation and y'all have either hit me up or there's just been some other type of receipt that you have been going through this. So somebody out there in the collective, many people out there in the collective are literally meeting partners, moving in with each other, getting engaged, having children, launching businesses at the same damn time. Like all of this is happening at the same damn time. So let's pull an Oracle card real quick because I feel like my, um, I feel like I need it. Hurry up. I'm entitled to your blessings. So be mindful. Like I was saying before, be mindful of who you have around you at this time because they could feel like they deserve the nine of pentacles and your ten of pentacles they feel like they deserve you and and your money and your legacy and you know um 
everything that you created and look at the bottom of the deck we have do not trust them so yeah some of you are needing to really protect um what you what you're creating at this time i'm literally posting a video that says you know um you know avoid temptation really avoid temptation at all costs because you have something so much better coming in you're going to be so happy that you didn't give up literally your treasure chest for like some little piece of fake ass jewelry you found in the pawn shop really because the nine and the ten of pentacles with the queen and all this energy is just it's giving royal vibes and i also feel like somebody walked away from the real wealth the real golden goose for something else that didn't really matter and it's just like ooh, baby that energy has been coming up for like the past few months now um at least like the past six months actually so i just want to hold you somebody's watching you and they just want to hold you just one time or just one more time um, if they haven't already, they just want to hold you. They they just want to, they just want to hold you. And it says, you've changed my life for the better. Somebody wants to marry you who may not even be communicating that they're interested in you in any way. <laughs> they're not even saying anything like that. But, um, you know, you have somebody around you that is definitely, um, you know, they're definitely wanting connection with you. They want to hold you. They want to tell you how they feel, but I don't think they, they are. Um, and some of you, this person finds you very, very, very sexy, as well as intelligent, spiritual, and they feel like you got the coin. <laughs> so you're the type of person that they want to have a, a family with, that they, that they want to build an empire with, okay? Burn the bridge. Some of you are needing to burn the bridge, literally. Like, take this literally, because that's how it was written. That's how I wrote it. Literally, burn the bridge with past situations. And look, the oracle says so. <laughs> the oracle says so. So this is real. This is somebody's real last story. Um, burn the bridge from your past, those past situations that are holding you back. Really focus in on that right now, this evening, y'all. Focus in on that, the letting go of... Um, people, places, and things that don't serve you is time, and it's time to step into leadership um, as the oracle. Many of you, hang on, y'all, let me get this. <laughs> Many of you, um, you are the oracle. You are the oracle. Cleanse your home, your body. That comes up quite a bit here, and also welcome to your brand new beginning. Like I said, many of you, you have a brand new fucking beginning. Some of you are needing to cleanse your home and um, hang on. I don't know. Is this better? <laughs> Just a sec, y'all. Hang on, baby. Hang on. Um, you know. Some of you are needing to um, cleanse your home of things so that you can get ready to move, so that you can shift. And then we have dream big, dream big, 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 big. Y'all, y'all got to listen to, y'all got to tap into the videos that I've been posting and the ones that I'm uploading now because all of this stuff is in there. <laughs> Everything that's coming out right now is in those videos. I didn't actually use any oracle cards for those messages, but it's literally the message, okay? So tap into that and we have highly favored. Now you are blessed and highly favored. Some of y'all, all of y'all tapped in. Highly favored and looked anointed. Yes, tap in y'all. I definitely spelled anointed wrong. <laughs> uh-uh. I don't like that. I'm definitely fixing that. I don't like misspellings and stuff like that. But um, yeah, you're you you've been anointed, you've been given the crown, y'all. You've been given um the jewels, you've been given the empire. What the fuck? Hang on. <laughs> What is going on, y'all? One, one, one second. Hang on, my loves. So weird. 
All right. I think I think we're good.